Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, I'm going to be auditing an e-commerce website to show you what these guys are doing that you really need to pay attention to, okay? I'm working with dozens and dozens of successful e-commerce stores every single day. My team and I, we build these stores up, we run their marketing, we help them improve their websites, and I see what is working. And this is an example that's gonna really teach you guys about understanding your customers and how to craft amazing websites that sell more products, okay? Because you can spend all your time on your traffic, crafting the best ads, setting up shopping campaigns, but if those customers go to a website that does not convert, it does not make them customers, it just shows them, then you are not gonna make the sales that you need to make, okay? And the reason I'm emphasizing this in this video and in many of my videos is the biggest mistake I see beginners making with their e-commerce store is they don't put time into crafting their website for their niche, okay? This is so, so, so important, guys. So many beginners have no idea who they're selling to. You're never just selling to the whole world. With your store, you are selling to a specific group of people, and those people have desires, needs, problems, wants. They have a language they like to use when they talk about their products. And as an e-commerce store owner, you can no longer just throw up a basic Shopify website and hope for the best. These days in e-commerce, in 2021 and beyond, the stores that I see killing it and I'm working with these stores every day. We see their Shopify dashboards. We're helping them grow. They're doing tens of thousands of dollars in sales every single day. They're the ones that do exactly what this website's doing, which is you can see that they get their customers. So I'm gonna talk you through it today. You're gonna to learn a few things here. Take them and apply it to your own site. And this isn't just a thing you do in a couple of hours. This is something that is implemented over the lifetime of your store. I was talking with a really big brand yesterday and something that they did, which was very, very effective, was they first started their store and they got some initial success, which was great, validated their products, made profits. But what they then did was they started talking to their customers which is what I'm gonna talk about today in this video too. They started talking to their customers and they suddenly realized they had made all these wrong assumptions about their customers and they were able to learn what their customers really wanted, what their customers cared about. They then adjusted all their marketing, their whole website, all their ad copy, their emails, every single touch point with the customer with this new information. They suddenly learned what their customers really cared about. And this was reflected in all their new website material. Well, what happened to their conversion rate? It went from 2% to 6% very, very quickly. Suddenly, all their traffic was converting at a much higher rate. They were making more sales, more profits. And it was because they were the only store in their niche that really understood what their customers really wanted. Let's get into this website here. It's called Ritual Zero Proof. These guys sell fake alcohol, basically. It's, it's, it looks like alcohol, it tastes like alcohol, but it has no alcohol content. And this is great because there are very specific people that would buy a product like this. Okay, let's scroll down. They have the main headline here on the homepage, the taste of gin, whiskey, and tequila without the alcohol or calories. Now, if you are their target market that wants something that tastes just like real alcohol, they want these are people that want to go out with their friends or have a house party and drink alcohol without actually having the effects of alcohol. And there are reasons why someone would want this. Maybe you're reading this going, maybe you're watching this going, why would you want to drink alcohol without getting drunk? Maybe you're one of those people, that's fine. But there are some people that don't want to do that. They want to enjoy with their friends, have the taste of alcohol without actually experiencing the effects. And then you can really clearly see that they've done their research here because they know why people would buy this product. People taking a break from booze right here. A day, a week, or a month, our bodies need time to rest. That doesn't have to suck. So they know that there are people that want to take a break from alcohol and they're looking for an alternative. They find this site and suddenly, boom, this speaks directly to them. Let's keep going through. You're dieting. This is another buyer persona they've found. Someone that is dieting that wants to lose weight. Alcohol often has a lot of calories. Often there's a lot of sugar in there, but also alcohol itself is a macronutrient that has calories too. So that's for those people there too. The next one, your training. So this is athletes that want to be at their peak performance that want to be hydrated, that don't want to, you know, the, the alcohol to ruin their workouts. It's another buyer persona. Next one is people that want to unwind, but it's not a weekend yet. That's another buyer persona. See here that they've obviously, and this, this here, this person here, you see the way that this person looks, that's their buyer persona. They know their buyer persona generally is that age range demographic, you know, that sort of thing. If you go here, the dieting, you know, they've got someone like a fit, 
looks a girl that might be into yoga, gym, you know, that sort of style right there. And, and that's who they're targeting with that buyer persona there with this whole product. As I go through, there's going to be more and more personas. 1 a.m. on a Saturday, people that you know want to you know, want to get to 1 a.m. They don't want to keep drinking all the way into the early hours of the morning. They want to keep the party going uh, and taste alcohol without you know having a big hangover the next day. Next thing, pregnancy. People that are pregnant, see what I mean here? Like you could you could sell this same product and not have all this research and copy, but if someone that is pregnant sees this. And you speak to them and you show them, you know, images of, of that demographic, you know, showing this is made for you. That's going to connect with those people much more. You're going to get better conversion rates. Really, really cool. Uh, you're a human who sleeps, people that like to sleep early, that don't want to be impacted by their sleep. Personally, myself, when I um, have any alcohol, it really affects my sleep. So I would resonate with that one as well. You use your brain, people that want to, you know, not have the alcohol effect in their brain. It says uh, regulate emotion, improve cognition when you swap out the hard stuff. So people that want to stay peak performance intellectually. You have vital organs, you know, people, you know, just want to take care of themselves. You see, get on and on, then goes back to the start. We have all these buyer personas here. What I'm trying to show you guys here. I'm not just necessarily talking about the design of this website right now. I'm talking about the messaging, the way they communicate the value of this product. There are different ways that you can sell a product, guys. You can sell a product that's just, this is a bottle that's filled with this juice that tastes like alcohol, but it isn't alcohol. That's one way. You're just l looking at the physical material aspect of it. But what these guys have done here, when you do your research and you really understand your customers, you can not just sell the bottle, but you sell the whole experience. Okay, so the experience here is not being hungover, something being able to lose weight and not worrying about the calories, you, you being, being at peak performance with your training and being able to train well and win the race, win the event, whatever it is. See, you're dealing with a problem that is not just about the alcohol content, but you're looking at the greater effects of that. And you can only do that effectively if you really understand your customers. And I've talked about this again and again and again. And this is a clear example. When I saw this website, because one of their competitors came to us for help and I looked at the competition, and I was like, yeah, this is going to be really interesting because your competitor is doing a good job. They're really, really good. So we're going to compete. We have to really raise the bar as well for your website too. Anyway, I won't get into that. But anyway, you go down through this website and you can see they really understand their customers. And this is something, guys, I want you to focus on and think about for your own e-commerce store. Whatever store you're making, if you're selling apparel, furniture, household items, technology, who is it that you are helping? And this is the big problem with general stores. If you have a general store and you're watching this, I want to talk to you right now. There's general stores, they are their own niche, okay? There are general stores in real life here in Australia and the same in the US. You know, you have Walmart. That is essentially a general store of sorts. People go there because they know they can find what they need, all these different items, but really Walmart, you don't expect it to be super expensive. That's part of it too. And so you're often competing on price. General stores have their own niche, but I generally recommend not going the general store route. People do it because a lot of people teach this way. I am yet to see a single dropshipping general store that has successfully been profitable over the long term. They might get initial profitability, but as soon as someone else sees your success there, they're going to use some spy tools, find the products you're selling, see the ads you're running on Facebook, and then run the exact same funnel, price you out of the market, uh, saturate the market, and basically you have to find a new product. So it's very hard to build a long-term sustainable business and especially hard to build a business that someone would actually buy from you because that's what we're building with e-commerce stores. We're not trying to build a job. We're trying to build an asset. Basically, we're trying to build a business here. And a business is something you know that we can actually sell at a future date. Maybe you haven't thought about this yet, but one day, a lot of us, we want to be able to sell our business and be able to retire or work on a new project, okay? When you build a niche store, you're focusing in on a specific group of people. It allows you to build a relationship with that audience. You can collect their contact details. You can build remarketing lists. You can send emails and build up your email list too. And all these things here are assets, okay, guys? And that's so, so powerful because you're not just building sales, you're building a relationship with your customers. And when you have that relationship, it is so much more powerful. It's so much more profitable because you can convert people at a much lower cost, but people also come back and purchase again and again. With a company like this, Ritual Zero Proof, 
They're a brand where they sell this product, which may be $20, $30, but they're a brand that people are going to come back and buy again and again and again. And it's not just because they put a lot of time into making sure their product is good, making sure it tastes good, it actually does what it says it does, but they're building a relationship that people can connect with. You know, they're going to send out their email marketing campaigns. It's going to have this same brand voice and understanding of their customers. For example, you go down, scroll down here, they've even got recipes of how to use their product. So people buy this product and they're gonna send them emails and content. Here, check out this recipe, check out the new fashioned, you know, it's a play on the old fashioned, the gin and tonic that you can create, all this sort of stuff. They really pump them with content and value and value and value and build a relationship. Now, when we're working with their competitor, you can imagine what we're trying to do. If we're trying to steal their customers. It's like trying to get someone to break up with their boyfriend or girlfriend to try and date you. It's much harder than just trying to pick someone new out of the market. So when someone has built up this relationship with their customers, it is so, so powerful. It's worth so much. You can have a much more profitable store. It's just amazing, guys. So I really want to emphasize this point of understanding your customers and then implementing strategies based on that information that you have. They probably talked to their customers and they said, yeah, we would love to have this sort of product, but we also want to maybe explore other drinks, recipes, and get new ideas for how I can actually use this product. So they've gone ahead and had a whole content strategy where they've planned out all these recipes, tested them, made sure they were great, tested them with their customers, and then started pushing them out as part of their marketing. That's the sort of thinking that you need to have with your e-commerce store. It's no longer just like, okay, let's set up some ads, let's run some traffic, let's make some sales. Think about the creative things you can do to add value to your customers. Because really guys, even though it feels like it takes a lot of effort to do this, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Once you do the research, have interviews with your customers, look where they are in forums and Facebook groups, look at reviews of competitors and understand what they really care about. You can implement these strategies and man, the small amount of extra work you do here can have huge results because your competitors, they're not doing this sort of stuff or they're often not. So guys, that's what I recommend. This is a store that I checked out very quickly and I was like, wow, this is something I can teach my subscribers here. If this video was helpful, give it a like. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know any ideas that you have that you can use to help your niche, your customers as well. I'd love to hear about them. Guys, if you haven't seen my other videos, I really recommend checking them out. I make a lot of videos on e-commerce and how you can grow your store. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.